Suze? Souza. 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 Good girl. Come on. Come on. Souza. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Nils Brockman, President and General Manager, Sousa. So good morning everybody. My name is Nils Brockman and I'm the President and General Manager of Sousa. Now before I tell you more about Sousa, there's already one thing that we learned. Sousa can make dogs sit still. All right, so take that home with you. That's a very powerful, valuable message. Okay. Now, SUSE is an independent business unit uh, of the attachment group. And although recently established as a business unit, it's not really a new company. So uh, I would like to tell you a little bit more about the SUSE origin. Um, SUSE was founded almost uh, 20 years ago by four German university students who had the idea at that point in time that it would be much more fun to start their own firm rather than working for other companies as consultants. So now, 20 years later, SUSE continues to deliver quality open source software to enterprises around the world. Now, what happened during those 20 years? Some of the SUSE milestones. Now, Linux was an emerging technology back in the early 90s, and it was increasingly gaining interest at that time. And the group decided to really participate in that growing trend. And what they first did is they brought to market a German version of Slackware. Slackware was um, uh, one of the better known Linux distributions at that point in time. However, Slackware missed some utilities, uh, some tools. And for that reason, the group decided to, to develop some of those tools and utilities themselves. And ultimately, that resulted in the first SUSE branded Linux operating system in 1996. A couple of years later, uh, at the turn of the century, or even the millennium, um, partners took notice of SUSE, and especially IBM to decided to move much closer to SUSE. And together with IBM, SUSE developed the first Linux operating system running on the mainframe at that point in time. It was innovation. It was the first uh, of its kind at that point in time. Now, the pattern of collaboration and partnerships continued, continued also after the acquisition of SUSE by Novell, and it actually is a, a substantial part of our SUSE business culture going forward uh, until the day today. So partnership and collaboration. Now, uh, a little bit later, Novell and Microsoft signed a landmark agreement. It was an agreement uh, with, with the objective to improve interoperability between Windows and Microsoft. And this relationship continues to exist. Actually, we just, at the beginning of the year, early in the year, uh, renewed the Microsoft agreement for another five years. Partnerships continued to grow with companies like HP, Dell, Fujitsu, and also with SAP. And in 2009, SUSE decided to launch the appliance program, which helps customers to build and deploy images, workloads, into virtual environments and into the cloud. And actually today we have 180,000 180, registered users of the appliance program, and they build more than 900,000 appliances with the program. Now, in 2010, SUSE formed uh, additional partnerships in emerging areas like virtualization and cloud computing. Uh, we signed a partnership with VMware, and actually VMware is today shipping a basic entitlement of SUSE Linux Enterprise Server with vSphere. And then through our relationship with uh, Amazon, 
Amazon decided to make Susan Linux Enterprise Server available in the public cloud, in the Amazon EC2 cloud. Now, let's look a little bit at the more recent history. Well, obviously, earlier this year, Novell was acquired by the attachment group, and SUSE began operating as an independent business unit. Now, we believe that operating SUSE as an independent, more autonomous business unit will increase the alignment and focus of the major business function with capturing and meeting the needs of our customers and the market. Responsiveness and agility will grow, and ultimately it will help to unlock the full potential of the SUSE business, accelerate its growth and its market momentum. Already today, we have a very solid foundation to build our growth on. So we have 20 years of Linux experience in the company, and we have more than 700 employees in 43 countries across the globe who service more than 13,000 enterprise customers. And we service those enterprise customers with an award-winning technical support. So actually, we are very proud about the fact that our technical service and support is, in independent studies, constantly rated to be the number one Linux support in the industry. Yeah. It's called Susan. Okay. Now, uh, in many areas today, already we have leadership positions, and we need uh, to, to hear more about that and educate people about that. There are market segments where SUSE is already today a true leader. Through the strength of our partnership with IBM, for example, 80% uh, of those mainframes that run Linux run on SUSE Linux Enterprise Server, 80%. And more than 70% of SAP applications workloads running on Linux run on SUSE Linux Enterprise Server. Um, we are a global company, and we are also quite successful in many of the emerging markets. And one of the examples I would like to mention next to you, actually, we're actually very proud to be the fastest growing and biggest Linux operating system in China. Uh, we have a bigger market share than anybody else there, and sin since years we are growing there faster than anybody else in the Linux operating system market. And then last but not least, we have more than 8,500 certified, tested, and certified applications running on SUSE Linux Enterprise Server. And again, that's more than any other Linux operating system vendor has to offer these days. So, since we are a global company, we have global customers. And actually, we are fortunate to have many enterprise customers globally that trust us with their IT infrastructure. And I know that several of you are here during BrainShare and are probably and hopefully here today in the audience. So this is a good time for me to, uh, to thank you. Thank you for your business. Uh, thank you for your partnership and also the, uh, for the trust that you have in the SUSE business. And you are not alone, as you can see from the slide, right? Um, Two-thirds of the global Fortune 100 companies in the world actually use SUSE Linux Enterprise Server. And nearly all of the worldwide automobile manufacturers run SUSE Linux Enterprise Server in their company. 70% of the largest resellers in the US rely on SUSE Linux Enterprise Server. And then finally, out of the top 10 supercomputers, Five of those supercomputers achieve their super performance by utilizing the strength of SUSE Linux Enterprise Server. So, so since I am assuming the leadership role at, at SUSE uh, since the beginning of May, I actually had the chance to meet many customers and partners uh, around the world. And um, what I hear from them is actually pretty consistent. So they look for help to drive better return of investment from their technology resources. And they also like help to achieve better, higher strategic alignment uh, of their IT investment with their business objectives and their strategic obje objectives. Uh, and increasingly, they also let us know that they are worried about the risk due to vendor lock-in and technology lock-in. So the fact that in many cases they don't have 
real transition strategies from one technology to the other, or even not an exit strategy, worries them quite a bit because it introduces risk uh, to their company. Now, as a response, many companies today already deploy open source solutions, open source software in their company. And often they run that on commodity off-the-shelf hardware, which ultimately allows them to drive for higher, better infrastructure efficiencies. Uh, companies obviously uh, invest in virtualization technologies, but there's also still several companies who are just considering it and haven't done that move yet. And uh, for them, there are many options available outside, open source options, proprietary options, and they ask us, which one shall we choose? Because they know that a, choose, that, that, that a choice might lock them into a certain direction. Now, um, cloud computing. Uh, many customers are obviously investing in cloud computing as well. Uh, the idea of scalable, elastic IT, paid on demand, is actually very appealing to many of them. But they ask us, will it be safe? Will it be reliable? Is this already the time to really run the enterprise workloads in the cloud? So, enterprise customers are considering the cloud, and the cloud computing landscape is actually growing. The scale is growing, and you can pretty much uh, separate it in two types of clouds. There's the public cloud and the private cloud. And then, as you know, often people refer to a mixed form as well, the heterogeneous cloud. Um, in the public cloud, basically providers, service providers, rent out computing resources to their customers. So you can pay companies like Amazon, one-on-one, -on -one, Rackspace, and others to use their computing resources. And like that, you can treat your IT expenses as variable operating uh, expenses, and that is actually very appealing to many companies. In the private cloud, vendors offer technology to effectively help customers to build their private cloud. And a wide variety of companies and groups are available there, both propriety as well as open source organizations and companies. So now the real question is, and many customers asked us this question during the last couple of months, what is SUSE cloud strategy in this context? And this is what I will tell you today. So first, in the public cloud, we continue to recruit cloud service providers to, to help them to deliver infrastructure software through the public cloud. We already introduced on-demand pricing. So effectively today, you can rent SUSE Linux Enterprise Server and use it in the cloud. Um, next, SUSE will also be in the private cloud, cloud business. So we will be a cloud platform provider. We will launch a cloud platform solution. And it will be based on OpenStack, a cloud infrastructure solution based on OpenStack, which is a collaborative open source project with significant momentum in the industry, supported by many companies and organizations already. And it defines and creates the standards, the APIs, as well as some of the code that is required to come up with cloud infrastructure solutions for customers. Now, our participation at OpenStack was actually announced to the OpenStack community last week at the OpenStack conference. So this is effective as of now. In addition to that, we also joined the ODCA, Open Data Center Alliance, which uh, defines standards and interfaces to move workloads between a physical environment, uh, a public cloud, a hosted cloud, and a private cloud. And this is what customers want, so we hear that from them. Um, and then as, as a third thing in the cloud, SUSE will continue to invest in tools and platform integration. Uh, the goal here is to make it easier uh, for our customers to build, deploy, and manage workloads in the cloud. And to better achieve that, we will add additional capabilities to our product, SUSE Studio, to make it faster and even easier to build and deploy and manage the workloads in the cloud. And we will also enhance our existing product, SUSE, SUSE Manager, to allow it to manage, monitor, and optimize uh, Linux workloads in the heterogeneous cloud environment.